Today, I will give you a tour through our shared nanofabrication facility at the Technical University of Munich. Normally, in Professor Pohl's quantum technology lab, we're working on quantum devices based on integrated photonics and optomechanics. But today, I will show you how we make a much simpler chip. This chip will only have some silicon nitride membranes on it. So, let's enter the clean room through the changing room. Our first step today will be to spin coat some photoresist onto the chip. The red liquid in the pipette is the photoresist. We drop some droplets onto the chip, close the lid and start the spin coder. and now want to write a pattern into it so that we uh, can pattern our chips. And for that we do a photo mask and we have this, uh, this machine over here uh, which has a light source over here which is and with that we can expose certain patterns in our photo resist. Um, it's a maskless aligner so we don't need to make a mask beforehand, we just give it a pattern and then writes this pattern in the photosynthesis. So let's have a look at the pattern over here, um, what we are going to write into our photosynthesis. Uh, so this is the chip, as you can see, um, it's a rectangular, and then the green uh, parts here are, are the actual devices. So I can also zoom in a little bit. So this is what we are going to write with this machine. So it's basically an array with a lot of holes. So I uh, kind of prepared everything now that we can write uh, the pattern in the machine. So let's load the chip into the machine. So I press load and now it says what I need to do. So let's open this. Yes, the chip. And this needs to go there. Right? Okay. So I check that chip. Place it there. Need to fix it with some vacuum. And close the lid. Okay, so I set everything up for, for exposing the pattern now. Um, find the desired dose for, for our pattern. Um, we will expose it in the center, center of the chip, right here. So, and uh, I will start now the exposure. So it's moving to the first location. As we can see here, doing something, uh, exposing some parts of it and moving to the next one. And if we now have a look here on the machine, we can see how it's moving back and forth. So now we have developed the chip that we just exposed in the in the uh, lithography machine and uh, inspecting it under the microscope. And uh, maybe you can see the, um, the display here. So this is a video picture of what the microscope just sees. And what we have here is uh, this is just a name tag for the for the, for the chip so that we don't mix it up. Then uh, we have some we have some nice logo to also get some nice pictures out. And here you see some uh, markers. These are important if you have multiple um, lithography steps and uh, want to align these different layers to each other. Uh, so we have little squares here. These are more used in the uh, E-beam lithography. And then we have a big cross here that's uh, used in the in the MLA lithography uh, step. And, and if we zoom in, we can see that we have reasonable good good alignments. So these are just exposed with the machine. I zoom a little bit in more, and they came out as expected. So at the ends of this this little cross here. 
So we're happy with the alignment, even though it was just one step. So now we place the chip in our reactive eye etcher and apply a dry etching technique where a plasma is formed and the ions are accelerated towards the chip and anisotropically etching into our chip. In the middle of our chamber. Closing the lid. And the pattern that is going to be etched is formed by the resist that you've seen in the previous step on the This is first, now we can start up down. And we have to wait until the chamber is evacuated for the next step. Okay, welcome back. So we have waited for the chamber to come down. As you can see here on the screen, we reach a proper vacuum in the lower 10 to the minus 5 torque regime going to our recipe. And the great thing about an optimized recipe is I basically only have to press the start button and the machine is going to the chip for me. Here I can observe all the parameters and values. The recipe is about to start and we see the gases that we have set are flowing in. We're using CH of 3 and S of 6. Gas flow is stabilizing, also reaching the measured pressure. Five more seconds to go for the stabilization. Now we're applying the power to the power sources and we can take a look into the window of our machine and see that plasma actually ignited. Very can See it shining here. After the step in the reactive ion etcher, we need to release the membranes on the chip. For that, we insert the chip in hydrofluoric acid and isotropically etch away the silicon oxide below the surface. This releases the silicon nitride membranes. At the end, we just have to dry the chip and it is ready to be measured in the lab. So this ends the fabrication and also our tour through the clean room.